and welcome back Transformers fans uh, this is a TF review 16 video review um, you can see these are my uh, deluxe first edition Bumblebee Starscream and RC and what I found today at retail was robots in disguise cliff jumper so here's the packaging uh, you can see cliff jumper in his vehicle muscle car alt mode um, pretty cool packaging um, this is I don't know if this is considered a, a revealer um, I have been collecting the first edition figures uh, I love them and I have the first edition cliff jumper on the way uh, I will do a comparison but uh, for starters I wanted to look at cliff jumper the robots in disguise version so here you can see him in his packaging Cliff Jumper Autobot. On the bottom, you see the Bumblebee Revealer, Wheeljack, and Soundwave. So, um, what I did, I picked up the Bumblebee. I found him at retail. I one of the great things about doing these video reviews is I got the opportunity to look at a video review of this Revealer Bumblebee. After seeing that review and seeing the the mold and the transformation I brought the thing back uh, and returned it Now I would never normally do that with any transformer but <laughs> I gotta tell you the revealer mold is absolutely nothing like the transformers deluxe prime first edition um, that bumblebee figure is incredible it's awesome and this revealer one is crap um, so I, I don't know what why they would do that, um, but uh, there you got Wheeljack and Soundwave. Excited to take a look at those guys too. Here is Cliff Jumper's technical data. There's his stats and cool um, cool artwork here of the character. Awesome character design um, on the back you have Transformers Prime muscle car mode includes the battle axe and there's cliff jumper figure and alt mode so very cool and then you got the cliff jumper here um, deluxe class series 1002 so I'm very excited to get my first edition uh, cliff jumper. It's in the mail right now, so I'm waiting for that, and then I can do a comparison video review. But uh, here's the cliff jumper packaging, and here you can see cliff jumper in there, and he looks really awesome. Um, you can see he's got the clear glass. You can see the robot kibble inside. They should have tinted the glass out. Um, but you can see his wheels there, chrome wheels. Looks really cool. There's the Hub TV sticker. And then the, the, the image here shows him with his blaster. So, um, and then he comes on this figure with the axe. So, I love the gimmick on the first edition with the blaster hands. Uh, he's definitely worth having, so I'm going to um, take a look at them both, and here you will be able to see the Robots in Disguise Cliff Jumper. So stay tuned for the comparison video. Stay tuned for the transformation of this guy. And until next time... Keep collecting.
Thanks for watching. And I'm back. I know I said uh, until next time, but here we are. I got Cliff Jumper Robots in Disguise version out of the package. Where'd he go? Nobody knows. He's right here. Cliff Jumper in his robot alt mode. This guy is cool. Um, this is a muscle car mold um, of Cliff Jumper, and this character was designed after a 1970 Dodge Challenger. And so you can see it has a vintage muscle car look to it and I love that I love this vehicle mode um, very awesome vehicle mode and you can see this robots in disguise version has great paint apps this thing is wicked I love the horns on the front it's got great detail on the le on the front lights the grill the paint applications here on the headlights it's got the blue headlights um, great wheels uh, rolls awesome and yeah the wheels look awesome too and then you got the nice exhaust coming out the side and um, again the back you got uh, the dual exhaust coming off the uh, tips well it looks like tips dual exhaust tips almost coming out of the back but it's actually part of uh, part of his feet looks like or, or um, knees in there so just awesome you got a little mech tech port here or a slot for his weapon um, one thing I would say I would say they, they should have definitely blacked out the windows um, because you can see a lot of the robot you can see the robot kibble inside I mean it would just look so much better if it was blacked out, you wouldn't even be able to tell it's a transformer. I mean, it looks, it looks awesome. Such a cool alt mode, muscle car mode. Um, love this guy. Uh, robots and Disguise. I have the Cliff Jumper Prime first edition um, figure on the way. I was too excited to get this guy out of the box and transform him. Um, so I just had to. I, I couldn't believe I found him at retail today. Um, very, very excited about that. So on the box, on the packaging I was showing you, they have the uh, sound wave, the revealer sound wave, and the um, wheel jack on the deluxe packaging. So I'm looking forward to picking those guys up as well. Um, you'll see reviews from them, but um, check out my Prime First Edition um video reviews. Uh, I did new ones for Bumblebee, RC, and Starscream, the first edition ones. So uh, the first couple videos I uploaded um, were my first attempts and then I, I reshot and did did new ones. So um, check those out. Uh, those are coming at you real soon. Um, I got the slideshow and then I got this guy. Uh, and but uh, hopefully you're enjoying them so far and definitely excited to bring you the robots in disguise version of cliff jumper you can see um that he has he is a bit smaller in scale um than some of the other deluxe figures so here's the deluxe prime first edition and like I said, I picked up I picked up the Bumblebee Revealer, Robots in Disguise Revealer at retail. I did a comparison, a package comparison with the Prime First Edition one. I watched a review on the Revealer Bumblebee and I brought him back to the store because I hadn't opened him. Didn't want anything to do with that, that figure. <laughs> um, as, uh, you know, aside from looking at the packaging and comparing the packaging. But there you got the Bumblebee first edition. You can see he is, you know, larger, significantly larger. I mean, 
for in scale um, to you know the scale. So what I'm saying, the scale is a little bit off, and Cliff Jumper could have been a little bigger. Probably should have been a little bigger, but I'm sure he'll make up for that in robot mode, and the scale will probably be. Um, right on for their robot modes. So, but we'll find that out as we go. Um, I just picked him up today, so this will be the first time I'm transforming. Uh, excuse me, first time I'm transforming him. So, hope you enjoy the video review. I'm gonna get this guy in robot mode. So, the first thing you want to do is. Break him up from the back, and you want to split apart his back fenders on the muscle car 1970 Dodge Challenger. So split the back um, like this, and you want to bring the hood or the uh, trunk up like that. So you pop the trunk up, and then you bring this whole roof section out. Let's see how it comes out. Being obviously being very careful <laughs> not to uh, put too much pressure on it. Um, you can you can kind of manhandle these things somewhat, but you want to be definitely be careful with it. So again, this is the first time I'm transforming him. So I am a little confused on why this isn't coming up. Um, it says this comes up and this is supposed to sit on top of it. Okay, there we go. Woo! Scared me. So it's like a retractable, almost like a retractable hard top. <laughs> That's cool. So this part comes up. This part comes up on top of that. There you go. Let's get focusing on there. Um, then next thing you want to do is flip him over and you want to pull his legs out, his feet out. So his feet come out like this. Feet come out like this. And then you want to swivel his waist all the way around. Swivel it around like that, and uh, flip his feet down. There you see his feet are kind of all one piece. Um, and flip his feet around like that, and then his. So there you have his legs right there looks very cool once you got his legs out looks like did they flip these around oh yeah and then you want to flip these around too so that's part of the transformation of the legs oh, flip that around like so there you got clip jumpers of legs do they go front or back Let's see. Yeah, they go they go in the back like that actually. So I guess it's a matter of preference. You could you could have it either way. You could have them in the front. Kind of looks cool like that. Or you can have it like this. Maybe angle them in um, slightly like that for a look. So that's really a matter of preference, I think. Um, so once you have his legs out, then you want to come around to the front of the vehicle. And you want to um, take the hood part out, which I'm where. There you go. The hood pops up. Wow, that's cool. That's a cool. This is a really cool transformation. I, I love this guy already. Pull the hood up like that, and they want you to flip this. Flip this under. I don't know if that matters. Or flip it all the way around. Huh? No, because it goes in like that. Flip it up and around. Okay. Um, then you got him up here and you want to take his arms or pull the 
front fenders, the doors and the front fenders come out. Looks like, uh, and the, the little pieces. So that, once you pull that out, and it, it reveals his head. So that's why they call these robots in disguise the revealers, because they have these morph, auto-morph functions. And so that's a cool one. His, his head pops up like that. And uh, then what you want to do is take his hand and you pull his hand out like that. Flip, uh, pull his hand out, arms up, or arm, arm goes all the way out like so. Flip his hand underneath, his arm underneath, and his hand comes out. So, let's see. Got him like this, like this, and like that. So, and then this piece, let's see, that piece kind of just sits on the back. And, uh, yeah, very cool, though. So, same thing here. This goes up, this goes up. Pull his hand out. Flip it down and around, like so. And then pull it, or flip it around and pull it down. And again, leaving these are actually these make great uh, like elbows here. So those kind of become his elbows and keep the backpack folded up in there. And there you have Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. And there is something I am forgetting. No, that's it. So very very awesome looking figure um, very stout very stocky um, uh, pretty show accurate I would say definitely pretty show accurate um, and he's got great great details and great paint apps there's his, his head looks his face looks awesome and you can see his the headlights um, mock to make the belt, and there's part of the grill in there. So amazing, awesome details. So you're seeing, I mean, you're still seeing a lot of the car parts um, on the robot, even though they fake it. I mean, here's the roof and the windshield that forms his chest, but you know, it's it's all faked, you know, because the real um, windshield is actually his on his back. Uh, but nevertheless, it makes for a very cool figure. And then, so you got him in his robot mode there. Let's focus in. And you can have him hold his battle axe. I guess that slides in like, like so. And he's got his battle axe mace that he can bash Decepticon skulls with or Dece <laughs> if Decepticons have skulls um, very very cool figure though this guy is awesome I like him a lot I was very excited to pick him up at retail today look for him I got him at Toys R Us um, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of the, more of these guys come out. I don't know how many they're releasing. I know that they canceled the first edition in, in the U.S. Takara is, Takar is releasing some um, still, but even so, even them, the first edition, the packaging is different. The Takara versions are packaged in robot mode. The U.S. versions are packaged in their vehicle alt modes. Um, so I'm definitely... Getting, I definitely have uh, the Cliff Jumper uh, first edition uh, U.S. version coming, and I'll be able to do a comparison. I'm gonna do a review on him and do a comparison. So his horn thing flips up to be on his back, but man, this guy's this guy's cool. And uh, I'll do a quick 
size comparison. Here he is with his partner, RC. This is the first edition RC. And cliff jumper. So you can see, I think his character um, in the show is a little bit shorter than RC, which she's the only character that really defies the laws of physics to where her small motorcycle mode turns into an extremely large robot. I mean, that part is not to scale. Um, she would probably in reality be about, you know, twice or three times the size of Jack in the uh, show, but she she's pretty large in scale with the other guys, so it's it's kind of interesting to, to see how they do it, but they definitely pull it off, and um, kudos on the character designs and these figures. Awesome job. I love the revealer. Robots in Disguise, Cliff Jumper. I would recommend this guy. He is very fun to transform, and he's an awesome figure to have in your collection. So you'll be you should be able to find him at retail again. Check your Toys R Us. They should be coming in now. Um, I will be picking up the Revealer Soundwave as well. The ones I can find at retail, I'm gonna pick up. I have the first edition uh, Cliff Jumper on the way, and I got the first edition Voyager. Optimus Prime and the first edition Voyager bulkhead on the way as well. So excited to do reviews for that, so stay tuned. But uh, until next time, Transformers fans, keep collecting. Go get Cliff Jumper. Robots in disguise. He should be at your local retailer. Hopefully, if you're lucky, find him. Alright, thanks for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe.